YouTube and welcome to Bub's World. You're watching Bub's Comics. I am your host Bub and today we're going to get into some Adam Hughes comics for you. So uh, sit back, relax and let's enjoy the cheesecake. You're watching Bub's Comics, Bub. All right. So what I have for you today is a huge deal for me. I got some uh, a personal grail of mine. So let's get right to some original art by Adam Hughes. And there's a little bit of a, a little, little asterisk next to that. Uh, so let's take a look. First off, um, pick these up on uh, Instagram. One of my favorite sellers on Instagram. Uh, his prices every now and then I feel like are a little high, but you know, it's hard because when you're buying just from a single picture of the front cover, um, the condition sometimes is better. Like when you get it in, in hand, you're like, oh, I see why they were asking so much because this is a really nice copy of the book. And this guy tends to have really nice condition on his books. And when he doesn't, he prices them accordingly. So, so anyway, shout out to him, whoever he is. <laughs> All right, that works. So we have here Harley Quinn. Oh. I'm sorry. Let's make me Saul and get to the hall. Yeah. All right. So first off, we have Harley Quinn, uh, number seventy-five, the great Adam Hughes cover. The hyenas. She's got it loaded in the super soaker. There's the ah. Good stuff. And there's old Batsy in the waiting above. She knows he's there. She's not worried about it. She's got something for old Batsy. Look at that. And the classic Harley outfit. It never gets any better than that. I don't care for the blue pink hair stuff and the fishnets and all that trashy stuff. I like the clown outfit, the gesture outfit. That's where I'm at. So uh, good on you, Adam Hughes, for drawing that one. And the book's so nice. I bought it twice. Of course, one is the limited trade dress edition. One is the full uh, trade dress. I like the trade dress. It kind of obscures Batman just a, just a hair, but I do like it. Generally, I prefer trade dress, but these minimum trade dresses from DC have been very nice. I, I don't care for virgin covers. To me, you might as well just buy a print, but I do like um, these the way they are. So very, very cool. And then I don't remember where I got some of these books. <laughs> I think some of them was from the same seller, but I'm pretty sure I got all these books from Instagram. So here's another one. Wonder Woman number 195. So working on this Wonder Woman run to try and get it uh, completed. So there's one of them. Wonder Woman 195, Adam Hughes. She's like coming after the Jets. And he's like, oh no. So very cool. Like the, if you're into reflection covers, I know some people pick up uh, reflection covers. I think that would certainly count as a reflection cover. So, okay. Oh, we'll switch gears a little bit into the Meow Meow Catwoman. Here's Catwoman number 62. I think some of these I already had, and then I, I don't know if I sold them or whatever, but I'm back to wanting the whole Wonder Woman run of Adam Hughes and the whole Catwoman run of Adam Hughes. Just gonna collect them. I've had a lot of them over the years and kind of sold them the ones I didn't like as much, but I'm done. I'm just gonna pick them all up and finish the collection. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. So there you go, Catwoman number 62. Beautiful. I have to say, I really enjoy the look that he gave Catwoman for this run. Just fantastic. Good stuff. All right, we got Catwoman number 63. Check that out. Great Adam Hughes cover there. We're almost to the big to the big uh, original art here, so hang on. We're almost there. Look at that. Good stuff. And we got this one. Now this one, is, some people think this is the best Catwoman cover of all of them that Adam Hughes did. Uh, I don't think it is. I think it's, it's on the list, but I don't think it's the best one. But we got Catwoman number 70, and some people think this one's the, the best Catwoman cover. And maybe it is, but for me, I think it's pretty good. Certainly deserves to be in the collection. Look at that. That's good stuff. Heck yeah. Adam Hughes. Doing what Adam Hughes does. Cheesecake galore from Adam Hughes. Catwoman number 70. Okay. Here we are. 
Here's the big one. I mean, that's no slouch, obviously, to get Catwoman 70 in there. It's a big tick off the list. And in fact, of all the Wonder Woman, oh, I'm sorry, of all the Catwoman uh, Adam Hughes covers, I think this is the last one that's very pricey. The rest that I've acquired, the rest are don't cost as much, thank goodness. So here we go. Uh, I like picking up these sketchbooks as well. So are they big enough for you, fanboy? There is a nice Adam Hughes. More sketches and doodles from Adam Hughes, the king of boobs. Boobs being his fans. Yeah, you get it. Check that out. Good stuff. All right, let's crack it open and see that. Uh, so it's got a remark. Now, you know, do you consider that original art or not? I don't know, but I've been wanting an Adam Hughes sketch forever. And so to finally get something that was hand drawn by him is a big deal for me. And it's even personalized to Bub. Look at that. So a nice old Wonder Woman sketch, some hair. Look at that. Or does it say to Bob? Oh no. So uh, so the guy said, he was a guy, an Instagram seller. He said he had an Adam Hughes remark. Uh, I said, okay. You know, and, and he was like, well, I gotta tell you, I was like, let me see pictures of it. Cause he had only shown this. And it said remark by Adam Hughes on the inside. I was like, well, you gotta show us, you gotta show us the remark. So I asked for pictures and he sent the pictures and he's like, yeah, unfortunately. I was like, oh man, it's to Bob. I was like, maybe nobody will notice that it doesn't say to Bub. Uh, and maybe I can, you know, if I meet him in person, I might bring this and ask him, how much would it be for you to cross out Bob and say, sorry, I meant Bub. <laughs> So that's my that's gonna be my plan if I ever meet him in person. I'm gonna have him cross it out and write bub. Uh and maybe that'll only cost a couple bucks. Uh, but I'll probably also get a uh an original art by him. I'd like to someday. That's that's the plan someday. He's on my original art grail list. So there you go. Hope y'all appreciated that. Uh some a remark by Adam Hughes and a bunch of great Adam Hughes stuff. You guys know I'm a I'm a big fan. And uh, we'll catch you next time in Bub's World. Remember to read a comic and don't apologize for the glare. Bye bye. Now subscribe, you egg sucking pieces of gutter trash. Now.